Hello everybody, it's Bourbon Bill, and tonight, a very special episode. We're diving in deep to some rare varieties from a distillery that I really have never reviewed before on this channel. That's right, it's Michter's Night Rye. We got Michter's Barrel Strength Rye and Michter's Toasted Barrel Strength Rye. Which one should you buy? That's right, thanks to my buddy Kevin who got both of these fantastic bottles. We're going to bring you the comparison tonight. Which one's better? Toasted versus non-toasted. So I have never been able to get my hands on a Michter's at all besides the regular us1 series their bourbon their um, american the rye and the uh, sour mash but anything else any of their specials le's snowballs chance in hell never seen one of them thanks to kevin though we'll let you know how it is now the toasted barrel here comes in at 107 proof Compute, compute, 53.5% alcohol by volume. And you know what it just says here? Michter's Barrel Strength, Toasted Barrel Finish. And, you know, I gotta say, the label's kinda shitty. I mean, they're hard to read in this, like, oval shape. You look at these on the shelf, like, oh, which is which? I mean, it's just, they could do better. I think they could do better on the labeling, that's all I'm gonna say. Then it says, distilled in small batches, according to to the Michter's pre-revolutionary war quality standards dating back to 1753 which would be before the revolutionary war but Michter's used to be in Pennsylvania and now they're in Kentucky so I don't know I don't know if I'm buying that now the barrel strength rye says much the same on the front um, in fact it says exactly the same thing but this one is 107.8 proof, compute, compute, 53.9% alcohol by volume. I'm not even sure what year these are. Someone that's more Michterish would know. Um, and just says, barrel strength, Kentucky straight rye, after full maturation. Notice how they skirted an age statement here. They just said, mm, you know, we don't need to give the fine folks an age statement. We can still charge them over $100 a bottle. This single barrel rye has been mellowed by our signature filtration. So wait a minute. Not only are they charging you over $100 a bottle, they are filtering this. So this is not non-chill filtered. No age statement. And it's over $100 a bottle. I, I don't know what MSRP is on these because I've never been able to snag one. But I think these are like in the 120 130 maybe up to 150 range, somewhere in there. Depend you know, I, I think the toast is more. Um, but there you go. All right, so um, these are blind here tonight. We don't know which is which, but you fine viewers will because I'll know at the end and I'll edit it and it'll be on the screen, okay? Now, my wife pulled a little sneaky on me. She told me to take the gold glass and put it in to your blind. Not only did she pour two of these blind for me, she poured three. You might say, well, Bourbon Bill, there's only two back there. There is. But, she poured my favorite rye. Sagamore Spirits Barrel Strength Rye Store Pick. A seven-year-old MGP store pick. Shout out to the Lehigh Valley Bourbon Drinkers group for this delicious pick. So that's in the mix. Now we're in it. In the mix, a $60 to $65 Sagamore Spirits Baltimore Rye. Fighting against the big, expensive, rare, hard-to-find bad boys back there. Which is which, we will find out. So first up, in the green. Oh, boy. Oh, my God, that smells good. Oh, man, this is all, like, this smells like a double oak bourbon. This is all, like, just char and oak. There's rye spice back there, but it's it smells way more bourbony on the nose. Um, if I didn't know this was a rye, I wouldn't necessarily pick this as a rye. 
Oh, God, that smells delicious. It doesn't smell particularly old. There's like a, a, a just a, a dark wood scent to it. Um, but it's not like an old age seasoned oak. It's like that, that little bit of a fresher wood, but it is a brown sugar plum barrel char galore here with a hint of rye at the end. Let's take a sip. Oh, sweet heavens, that's delicious. A++, whatever that is. Oh my god. Exactly what I smell comes through in the palate. Just barrel char, caramel, rye spice. Like that charred wood. It's, I, I, it's not seasoned oak. It's like a charred wood. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Can't say enough good things about that. Wow, I, I'm almost off speechless. It's so good. Uh, it does not taste like a rye. If I didn't know these were all ryes, I would 100% say that was a bourbon. Alright, next up in the gold. Oh, holy fruits and rye. This one's like a cherry cola bomb with tons of rye spice. Way sweeter. So that charred like a barrel aspect and that deep and dark rich is gone and this is like a a brighter sweeter fruit and then the rye spice but boy is this is this smell amazing too it's just, it's just a different profile i definitely get cherries strawberries on this one and then the rye spice in the back let's take a sip how do you how am i gonna pick a winner tonight how? That was like a fruit cocktail with rye spice and caramels. That was like a dessert. It was all red fruit, strawberries, cherries, a little bit of oak, good bit of rye spice in the back end, just as long of a finish, thick on the mouth feel. God, that was good. Last class. The red. Oh, now this is kind of like a mix of both of these. I'm getting like... This tastes a little bit more similar to the green, which could lead me to believe that the green and the red are the Mictors, and the gold could be the Sagamore. I get a little bit of like marshmallow graham cracker on this one. In addition to like a charred wood and like a, it smells a little youthy though. It smells a little youthy, which I don't know. It's a little, it's a little, it's a little bit lighter than the first one. Let's take a sip. Oh, that's heavenly. Mmm. Mmm 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 mmm. I think that's the Mictor's toasted barrel rye. It's got a very toasted wood note to it that carries from the front all the way to the back. But beyond that, it's got a good, like, it's the, it's that deep, darker, rich profile, charred oak in there, just like the first one. So, that kind of hems up my guesses. But I don't know if I like this better, to be honest, even though I generally enjoy double oaks or toasted bur bourbons and rice. Alright, let me rank these off camera, and we'll come back and take a guess and uh, see what they were. All right, we're back. So, last place was red. Um, I believe that was a Michter's Toasted. The toasted note was nice in there throughout. It's a toasted wood note kind of laid on top. But, ultimately, I didn't think it was actually as complex, believe it or not, as what I thought was the regular uh, Michter's Barrel Strength, which was actually got second in the green. So, I actually think... The gold was a Sagamore store pick, and um, it was thicker, had a longer finish, and more complexity of flavor than the other two. So that's why it won. Um, if you like, a, if you don't like fruit, though, it would not win for you. So let's be clear. Um, <clears throat> we get the answer key and find out. In last place, in the red, was the Michter's Toasted. So that's the most expensive bottle up here. 
It was dang delicious. If you see it for MSRP, you should buy it. Um, I thought it was very good. I just, I just don't know that the toasted note didn't necessarily elevate it for me. None of these were bad. These are all A-plus ratings from Bourbon Bill and all buys at their respective MSRPs. I'll put that out there. In first place in the gold was the Sagamore store pick. I should have wore my Sagamore Rye shirt tonight, but uh, Brian from Sagamore, you were doing great things, sir. Keep up the good work. I'm guessing it was the age, because had had Michter's had a seven-year-old rye, I feel like they would have advertised it on the label. The fact that it's not age-stated makes me believe it could be younger than six or seven years. Um, does not come across youthful, though, in, in any stretch of the imagination. So I was right all across the board. Second place was the Michter's Barrel Strength, which was fantastic. Um, that's a different profile. I like that better than the Toasted. I would go for that one. Uh, over the toasted. That's just my personal preference. You can find a seven year Sagamore, do so immediately because they're killing the game for like half price. This is like 60 bucks. Half price over their two bottles. And it won. So let's figure that out. Now, was well, not part of the blind because it was like a weird experiment, but I tried to make like a toasted Sagamore. <laughs> Just I, just for the hell of it. So, I got the Sagamore Double Oak here. I mix this 50-50 with the, the, the Barrel Strength the Store Pick. So, this the Barrel Strength Store Pick is 110 proof. And this is like 96.6. Call it 97. So, I think I ended up somewhere in like the 105 range. This bad boy here. 50-50 mix. We're just going to, for the hell of it, review it for you. Um, see if this is something you might want to do. Oh, oh, this might be the winner. I might be dumping these two bottles together. This has that deep coconut chocolate Nutella note off the double oak, plus the fruit note off of the barrel strength here. Well, that, that would have won the night hands down. Gosh, that's all chocolate, marshmallow, f and fruit cocktail up front. That's fantastic. If you have a double oak Sagamore, like like that one right there, and you have a store, or just if you just had the regular cash strength, go ahead and just mix them 50-50. Call it the high proof double oak from Sagamore. That's fantastic. That's that's where it's at. Um, so if you like what you saw tonight, please like, comment, and most importantly, hit that subscribe button. Have a good evening, everybody.